And uh, the other one, Mel App was piloting it, and he uh, went out of control at Mach 3. And it was inertia roll coupling. Well, the, the, the X1 was the first one to break Mach, right? Yep, X1. And there were three X1s built. And uh, uh, one also uh, had a fire and explosion in the mothership. Th these explosions were caused by a gasket made out of Ulmer leather. And they didn't realize that it was incompatible with liquid oxygen. Oh, it would burn it up. Yeah, well, some material, if you get it liquid oxygen on it, it can actually explode when you hit it. Uh, so they finally figured out these Ulmer... It's a spontaneous yeah. combustion thing, right? Yeah, so he had inertia roll coupling. They weren't used to airplanes that were very long and skinny. And the, uh, a lot of complex equations, but basically they couple and roll and, and yaw. Okay. And so it, it goes out of control. And uh, the escape system was a capsule mounted in the front. The I didn't whole, even know they had an escape system in them. They yeah, the, the whole front uh, cockpit would come off oh. as an escape capsule. And, uh, what was so, the fuel? Uh, liquid oxygen and alcohol. And Curtis Wright made the uh, liquid rocket engine, interestingly enough. Huh. Uh, so he uh, uh, went out of control. He did separate the Ford capsule, so he got the capsule off. That had a small parachute, but not big enough for landing. The pilot would have to get out of it, get once, out he of it once he separated it. And he had uh, unlatched his harness, but he had not gotten out of it when it hit. <laughs>